We'll need a boat to get there. Let's head to the dock. Lot of weird things lurking in the forest. I got the goods to kill most all of them. Okay then. We're losing too many veil jumpers as it is. Now the metal. Sounds like a lot happened here. What hasn't happened? This area is where Tevinter Magisters destroyed Arlathan City centuries ago. A lot of blood magic during the war. And now? Whatever Solus did stirred up everything again. The old blood magic from the war it never went away. Ancient relics appear out of thin air, ruins float. old wound that never healed, and now it's bleeding again. View. That was the capital city, Orlithen. This is what's left of it after the war. I don't imagine it floated back in the day. Rook, you ready to go? Harding, you sure you're up for this? 
I'm fine. I need to get back in the fight. Then let's go. I've never seen fog this thick in Demeta's Crossing. This isn't right. The dock usually has people bringing goods to market, bartering and shouting. It's always busy. Something happened here. Stay sharp. It's so quiet. Too quiet. Where is everybody? It's market day. People should be out selling eggs and buying bread. But everything's just abandoned. They barricaded the main entrance into town. To keep something out? No, to keep something in. What happened here? Keep them inside. Listen to the mayor. Hello? I don't think he can hear us. Everyone has to stay. Someone used powerful magic to dominate the minds of these villagers. We need to search for survivors. Let's see what we can find. Fan out. Spices to us, the best in Orlathan. I can't believe this happened. Is that an Aravel on the roof? Light must have lifted it up there. Light is 
weird. Ever seen anything like it? Never. Blight's usually dead, static, but this is alive. Okay, let's keep going. Might be more survivors. What was that? Something big. Stay sharp. Over there. Two more survivors. Hey, what's going on here? Find the Veil Jumpers. Bring them to the mayor. They're talking about Jahel and Milva. They said bring them to the mayor. If we find the mayor, then maybe we'll find your friends. Why were they looking for Veil Jumpers? What did the mayor want with them? people must round up everyone must get them inside we will be rewarded Another veil jumper. Blora. Jahel, he's alive. Blora. We're we're going to help you. We'll get you down, Jahel. No, listen. The gods... the gods have returned. I saw them. I heard their voices. The gods did this? A blood ritual to release the blight. In the villagers, they said they needed power. Valara, be careful. Sounds close.
I know you. You're the mayor of this town. The village. The people. Are they, uh... Blighted. Dead. All of them. You gave them to the gods, didn't you? Didn't you? They were in my head. Infecting my thoughts. They made me do it. Please, help me. Deep breaths. Tell me what happened. I tried to protect people. You have to believe me. The gods told me to lure the Veil Jumpers to the center of town. The others were to be rounded up and kept safe. They would be the first to witness the glory of Gillanane's new creation. She showed me gold. So much gold. So you brought the Veil Jumpers to the middle of town for a blood sacrifice? Because the gods needed power. Did you know what the gods would do? The Veil Jumpers, they were just strangers. I thought if they were taken first, everyone else might be spared. So you did know? The gods exploited his greed and fear. I'm supposed to feel sorry for him? I say we leave him right here. But I'll die. The blight everywhere. What if the dragon comes back? If we let you go, you'll run straight back to the gods. They were in his head. Their influence might linger. I understand what they do now. I won't be tempted again, I swear. Rook? Let's get him out of there. What? This entire village is dead because of him. I know. Then why spare him? We don't kill people, not like this. We're not murderers. We're not like the gods. Thank you. I didn't ask for your gratitude. Then, if I may offer some advice, steal yourself. I felt their power. The promises they make, it's... It's irresistible. Then try harder next time. Don't make me regret saving you. Yes, of course. But you should be worried about the rest of the world. Or this will be our future. The Fade had opened, and the gods were free. Thanks to Solus, they'd woken up to find their empire their subjects, even their fellow gods, all gone. But they still had the power of the Blight, and corrupting a village was just the start. They made plans to tap more of the Blight, all of it, to rebuild their empire. As a path to power, it had its costs. And everyone would pay for it.
Did you find our scouts? They're dead. I'm sorry. Elgernon and Gillanane sacrificed them in some kind of ritual. Creators. What about the rest of the village? The ritual spread blight everywhere. The entire village was overrun. The few who survived are controlled by blood magic. Their minds are gone. Elgernon and Gillanane used them like puppets. I dare say it was a show of force. They will not rest until you are on your knees, fearful, cowering, helpless in the face of such power. Lady Morrigan? Tis simply Morrigan to you, Scout Harding. What a pleasure to see you again. Rook, this is Morrigan, an old acquaintance. I thought she could help. Morrigan helped the Inquisition when Varric and I were part of it. She knew more about ancient magic than anyone, except Solus. Twas both pleasure and necessity to help then, as it is now. Stopping Elganon and Gillanane shall require many hands. So, who are you, exactly? I have borne many appellations. Advisor to Orle, Witch of the Wilds, friend to the Inquisition. My place here, however, is but a humble advisor on matters arcane. Witch of the Wilds? An honorific, born of rumor and exaggeration. The fearsome reputations of your opponents, however, are duly earned. This dark turn of events shall only become worse. Then I look forward to your help. How refreshing. Your cooperative nature is appreciated in return. What can you tell us about all this? As dangerous as Solus himself may be, his imprisonment of the gods was just. To leave them unchecked would have been the very end of Thedas. Just to be clear, you know your old friend Solus is actually the Dreadwolf? So I have come to learn. It rather explains how he knew such a great deal of ancient elven history, and why he became so vexed when I attempted to explain it to him. Whilst I cannot claim the same depth of knowledge, the knowledge I do possess is yours for the asking. I hope it helps. For all we know, the entire world will look like Demetis Crossing once the gods are through. This is our fault. When we interrupted Solus's ritual, the gods escaped. Would those feelings not be better used to put things right? But how? Set aside your notions of godhood and see them for the ancient, powerful mages they are. Standing against them shall require serious magic of your own. When you interrupted the Dreadwolf's ritual, did you happen across any of the tools he used? He had a dagger but it got lost in the chaos. Then you would do well to find it. It is better in your hands than those of the gods. Is there anything else Solus might have had that could help us? We're in his, well, he calls it the lighthouse. Ah, yes, the legendary sanctum of the Dreadwolf. Tis said his Illuvian, the Viravas, could travel to any other Illuvian of his choosing. That's not how it works right now. It only goes to Arlithin. I can take a look at it. Maybe fix it, even. I know Alluvians better than most. Any help you can offer, we'd appreciate. If Alluvians even work the same way, all the magic is different now. Our gods are back. Our gods. And they're killing people and blinding the world. How do we stand up against that? None of us can do this alone, but we can stop them together. Bellara, you're one of the only people in the world who can get our Alluvian working. Harding can track down the Lyrium Dagger, and Nev can spot any clues we might miss that give us more information. Let's get to work. There's a lot of fight ahead of us. Indeed. 
Prepare yourselves well and have a care in your choices. These are the times in which legends are born or slain. In this battle, I shall render whatever assistance I am able. Right, let's move. You can do this, Lace. It's gotta be done. I should have taken the shot. That would have made things worse. You don't know that. All you have are guesses. We're up against something unfamiliar, working with more rumors than facts. Of course that's all I have. I should have taken the shot. You didn't take the shot. I destroyed the statue. Who do you want to blame more for the outcome? We all did what we thought was best in the moment. And look where it got us. Tried to stop the world from being swallowed by chaos, and now it might be swallowed by chaos anyway. Elven gods escape from their prison, Solus is in your head, and we're scrambling to figure out what to do. And Varric? Varric knew the risks. He knew what it might cost. We're still standing. The fight's not over. You know, I like that about you, Lace. You don't stop fighting, you push for answers and action, while I can get stuck on questions forever. Well, we need someone who can put the pieces of the puzzle together. We're fighting the unknown. Exactly. Everyone has a part to play. Varric brought us together because of our strengths. He wanted a team he could rely on. We have to be that team. Play to our strengths. And rely on each other. I think I can manage that. Then let's find Solus's dagger. It'll be a start. Lingering magic. Powerful magic. The dagger was here. Something took it. Dark spawn. Oh no, what if it took the dagger? Only one way to find out. device.
Good work. Let's keep on the trail. Darkspawn don't usually collect things, do they? Solus's dagger is special. They might have been drawn to it. Dark spawn ahead. Did you find the dagger? I don't think these darkspawn took it. Let's keep looking.
Over there, our dagger thief. Ugh, more blight in the way. Ugh, and there's probably another one. Nicely done. I mean, it's gross, but you can't argue with results. to have a problem. Look, another one of those magical beams. There are two of these devices this time. I bet we'll need to direct beams at both of them. It's one. Now to find the other. Now let's see what's behind that gate.
better be ready. <laughs> That has to be the ghoul we're tracking. Better hope it still has the dagger. Get ready. Harding? I... I... Uh... Harding! This is the eternal hymn, the prayer and the proclamation! Are you moving those rocks? 
I don't know. I don't know how to control it. should get back. We'll talk it through there.
Your pet has failed, sister. And now the magic of the dreadful stagger is hidden from me. Fen Harel meddles once again. If his stagger is beyond our reach, we must craft another. Made of red lyrium. You said something took you over. Mm, something like that? And it's still with you? Y yes. I think so. It can't be possession, can it? I doubt it. Dwarves can't be possessed. They aren't connected to the Fade. Solus's dagger triggered this event. But how? Or why? I'm sorry, Lace. I wish I had answers. It's all right. Talking has helped. And hey, we got the dagger, right? Mission accomplished. Dwarves have never used magic. We can't. It's not the magic I know. What do you mean? It's clearly stone-focused, which makes sense. Dwarves are children of the stone. Mages connect to the Fade. Dwarves reach out to the stone? Maybe. Maybe. <sighs> I guess we don't have any real answers. It's a wonderful gift. You must be proud. But I didn't do anything to earn this. How could I be proud? I don't even know how it happened. It's all a little strange, but not in a bad way. I feel... connected to... to the... to the stone. Dwarves call ourselves children of the stone. Some of us have what we call stone sense. Those that have it can feel caves, lyrium veins, and faults in the rock. I wasn't one of them. Maybe the dagger unlocks something hidden. But, but this is more than the stone sense I know. I hope you're right that this is a gift. <sighs> I'd be heartbroken if it caused problems. I trust you have all this handled. You always have things handled. I just hope I can use this magic to do what's right. I have faith. I'll send word to the Grey Wardens about the blight we saw. And then I'm gonna lie down. And we need more answers about what the gods are planning. I'll find some place to relax and try to reach Solus in the Fade. Good luck. Try not to let him get to you. It feels like we're finally making some progress. And I'm not sure what my new magic's about, but I know it feels right. With their eyes on the Dreadwolf and the gods he'd set loose, they couldn't see their own personal demons coming to haunt them. Harding told herself it felt right. She was connected to the stone to the Lost Titans, and all of Dwarven history, with its buried secrets. How could that be anything but good?
Guess I should find some place to try to talk to Solas. Wait, that room wasn't there before, I don't think. Never Harding must have put my pack here. Makes sense. Better place to sleep than the infirmary. Guess I can spare a few moments to unpack my things. This piece is all that's left of the artifact that trapped Varric and the others in Arlathan Forest the day we met. Only thing left of my time with the Veil Jumpers, too. Strife said he didn't want to see me again until I'd gotten some sense pounded into my head. Looking back on it, Strife was right. If I hadn't been lucky, I could have gotten a lot of people killed. I have to get better at seeing the big picture. Varric and his life lessons. I asked him how we were supposed to stop Solus, and he gave me this. Take a long, hard look in it, kid. It'll always show the face of a hero who can get it done. Varric tells such great stories. It's almost enough to make me think that this time, when I look in the mirror, I'll see a hero. <sighs> but 
Varric's hurt, and the team needs me. So chin up, take a deep breath, get the job done. The peddler gave me this after I saved his caravan from bandits. He told me the scroll went back to even before Tevinter. Said that elves had a rich history, even more than the rest of us. We've got a culture that's lasted thousands of years. Good to remember everything we've done. The ever-turning orb. My final training project as an apprentice. I spent months finding the precise balance of energy flows to make the enchantment permanent. Amazed this thing still works, seeing how many times I messed up the magic and broke something. But I got there eventually. Right, that's better. Now how do I connect to Solus? Just sleep or... Relaxing. Maybe if I clear my mind. Back so soon. It must have been worse than I had thought. Hello, Dreadwolf. Ah, but perhaps I am mistaken. You may be here to correct me, to tell me that my concerns were unfounded. Did I overstate the danger? No, it appears to be just about as bad as you said. How unfortunate for you. I need to know what the gods are planning. You are asking for knowledge no mortal in this world is privy to. If I am to share it with you, I need to know what makes you the right person to lead the fight against Algonan and Gelanain. Someone has to do something. I may not be the right person for this job, but I'm the only one left. So, your call to action is that any attempt is better than none? With the Veil Jumpers, I was in a dangerous part of the forest full of wild magic. My team got free, but not everyone did. There were a lot of people still trapped, including Varric. So you went in, against orders, and freed them? How do you know that? You helped Varric pursue me for the better part of a year. It would have been foolish not to learn about who was hunting me. Then you know that if someone has to make a call, I'll do it. I suppose I was not so different when I started. Started what? My rebellion against the Evanuris. The Elven Gods, as you call them. They wish to reclaim their dominion over this world. To accomplish that, they will need two things. First, the Blight. What exists in this world is a bare fragment of its power. The rest is imprisoned. Until they release it. I don't understand. Elgernon and Gelanane were elves like you, right? Why would they want to blight the world? It is my fault. As the Dread Wolf, I was a thorn in their side. When my efforts weakened their grasp on the elven people, they grew frustrated, then desperate. And turned to the blight. Once the corruption took hold of them, they were blind to its horror. It was just another source of power for them. Now they would blight the world without hesitation, and call us backward and foolish for opposing them. The Blight didn't escape with the gods? 
Algernon and Gillanane escaped largely empty-handed, fortunately. Most of the Blight is still trapped in the prison I created ages ago. So what we saw at that village, that's them not at full strength? Correct. The rest of the Blight is imprisoned? There's more than what's in the world already? Yes. Centuries ago, the Magisters of Devinter opened my prison. A tiny fragment of the Blight escaped. That fragment grew beneath the earth and led to the Blights that have swept across the world. However terrible the Blight is now, it is a mere fraction of what we will see if its full power is unleashed. What would they need to do to free the Blight? And how do we stop them from doing it? They will need to pierce the veil to reach the Blight's prison. My Lyrium Dagger is one of the few artifacts capable of doing so. We've already recovered it from the ritual site. Excellent. Then they will have to make their own. That will give you time. You said the gods needed two things, and the Blight is the first. What's the second? Followers. They have called themselves gods. And what is a god without worshippers to sing their praises? When the Dalish Elves started the Veil Jumpers, we uncovered a lot about how terrible our gods were. I don't think the Elven people will bend a knee to blighted, murderous monsters. Agreed. Algernon and Gillanane care little for the Elves. They will find worshippers among those hungry for power. Tyrants and bullies. The cruel and the corrupt, who fear their own vulnerability and seize any chance to feel strong. If you hunt them, they will lead you to Algernon and Gillanane. Thank you. I'll go poke at the cruel and corrupt, and we'll see what we find. The Veravas, the lighthouse Saluvian, can take you anywhere, if you master its secrets. Have you done so? Not yet. We've got one of the Veil Jumpers working on it. She'll get it sorted, and we'll see how it goes. Yes. I suppose we will. And when you speak with Varric, please tell him that I regret what happened. So Solus told the truth about the gods. You heard? It's bad, Varric. If you'd seen Demetis crossing... The team needs to act fast. And it can't do that with me leading from a bed. You've got to take point on this. I didn't come in here trying to take your job, Varric. I know you didn't. But it's what the team needs right now. You sure? Harding got hurt because he listened to me. Rook, when I put this team together, what did I look for? A detective to find the Dreadwolf, and a scout to get us the lay of the land. Exactly the people he'd expect me to recruit. Disciplined. Predictable. And then there's you. Remember when we first met, kid? That first ill-fated Arlathan expedition. Not the recent one. Demons just kept coming for us. Dozens. Hundreds. But you didn't give up. 
You found a path out of that forest. Led us from the darkest depths back to safety. <laughs> Lost that magic map. Pissed off some historians, but you've got a knack, kid. For what? Finding a way through the wildest shit I've ever seen. With a plan that no one expects. On the best day of his life, Solus wouldn't see you coming, Rook. And don't worry. I'll still be here to talk if you need me. There is something. Demeta's crossing was awful. While we were there, we found one survivor, the mayor. You took him back to the Veil Jumpers. Not everyone was happy about my decision. We're just starting out and I'm already losing their trust. The key to earning the team's trust isn't to only make decisions everyone agrees with. It's showing the team that they can tell you whatever's on their mind, even if they think you're full of crap. And know you'll listen. When I took over at the ritual site, I had to make a call on who came with me to knock over that statue. It was the first decision I made leading this team, and Harding got hurt because of it. You made a decision with the best information you had. Sometimes you do that, and people end up hurt. Or worse. What would you have done? What would I have done? Probably gotten myself killed and failed to stop the ritual if you hadn't stepped in. A good leader isn't someone who never makes mistakes. It's someone who admits when they make one. That's how you earn their trust. Did Nev tell you about me talking to Solus in the Fade? I had some good arguments with Chuckles back in the day. I can't imagine being stuck with him in my head. But how are you feeling about it? He's the god of lies and he's inside my head, Varric. How do you think I feel about that? Fair enough. But Nev's a great mage. If you need her to whip up a ward to keep him out of your mind, she can. But you haven't asked her to. Why not? Solus is our best source of information about these elven gods. We can't stop them without what he knows. So you're making the decision to keep talking with him? I... Yeah. You're making a choice. Stay careful, stay worried, but don't beat yourself up about doing what you have to do. He also asked me to tell you that he regrets what happened. Hurting you, I mean. Chuckles is sentimental. He could burn the world down, and the thing that would make him cry is a single flower with blackened petals. I'll let you get some rest. You're gonna be fine, Rook. Uh, hey, one last thing before you go. I've been racking my brain thinking of contacts who might help us with these gods. You got any ideas? Nothing. But being a leader isn't about having all the answers yourself. It's about knowing who does. Nev has connections to a whole world that Harding and I barely know. Might be worth talking to her. Will do. Thanks, Varric. Anytime. I wish I could be out there with you, Rook. Just be careful, all right?
Hey, Nev. Hi, Wisps. Yeah, they're still here, but you're here for Leeds. You want allies to go after the gods? I've got places to look, if we can get anywhere but Arlathan. Blara's working on it. What have you got? Let's start with the angles we know. The gods are corrupt magic personified. Who do we hire to fight that? First, the Antivan Crows. You want to fight gods with assassins? Not just any assassin. Their most feared mage killer, the demon of Virantium. Working with a feared mage killer doesn't bother you? As long as he doesn't have a contract out on us, we're fine. Well, I'm sold. Now we charm the crows. Fingers crossed. The demon got his nickname taking out blood mages and venatori. From everything I've learned, the reputation was earned. I never uncovered his real name, and there's been fewer stories the last few years. But the crows would know. I can set a meeting with their bosses. This is great. Thanks, Nev. It's what I'm here for. You said the crows were first. What's next? A trip home. Back to Minrathus. Capital city and heart of Tevintir. An empire of mages that knows a thing or two about corrupt magic. Tevintir authority... Won't help and can't be trusted. Which is why we talk to the Shadow Dragons. They're a resistance group that fights slavers, blood magic, and imperial corruption. They've got eyes and ears everywhere, including mine. If the gods enter the empire, we might get something. Besides, I owe them an update. Are they all mages? Tevinter might prize its mages, but the shadows accept anyone. We've all got a stake in the cause. These people sound great. I mean, if they're anything like you. No one's as good as they seem. But they try. So, we talk to the crows in Antiva and the shadow dragons in Mindrathus. I wouldn't mind checking in on my neighborhood, either. If Balar is ready for us. Yeah. Should check how things are going. Toldar, it's a tunnel. Vedun gar velos atredum. But velos atredum is is nothing like it's a tunnel. It's a tunnel. I remember. After you touched the dagger, the prayer, the proclamation, it's a tunnel. What exactly are you proclaiming? They don't remember. No one remembers. We don't even know what we lost. You're busy. I shouldn't interrupt. No, no, wait, wait, sorry. Please stay. We can talk. About the stone. About Isatunal. Maybe explaining it to someone else will help get my thoughts in order. So what is it? 
What does it mean? Isatunal is an affirmation, a statement of existence, of, of being. It means, I am here. But no, not, not I. I is singular, but it isn't. We either. Hmm. We is multiple, but also separate. What? <sighs> is the tunal is the eternal hymn that encompasses all time, all spaces. I am, we are, this and that, here, there, now, and forever. What's important is that you're happy. Happy? Happy's not it. Whole. Right, maybe. I'm certain Isatunal describes how we, the dwarves, once were. But none of the books say anything about it. None of the histories are right. If we forgot something so important, what else did we forget? I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't expect you to have an answer. D Thanks for letting me babble, by the way. Anytime. That's what I'm here for. Funny things, aren't they? Reflections. They distort reality, no matter what you try. Ah. And there's the trick. Control that distortion. There you have it. What is that place? If I had to guess, it's the Fade. Another part of it, I mean. Didn't Morrigan say this Alluvian could go anywhere? Didn't think that meant elsewhere in the Fade. She called it the Veer of Us, freedom of ways. I wonder... Maybe Morrigan got this one wrong, or misspoke? Morgan can be a little inscrutable sometimes, but she chooses her words very carefully. Some of the older texts talk about a place in the Fade where all the Alluvians meet. A crossroads where you could travel across all of Thetis in just minutes. Right. We saw something similar when we were chasing Solus. I wonder if it's the same. It is alike, and it is not. Who are you? And how did you get here? The wolf's fang. You carry it now. Old paths. A new journey. Through there. I will wait. Well, can't tell if that's a trap or not. But we're short on options. One way to find out. And it didn't feel dangerous, you know? Almost more... Sad. We have no idea what or who they are. So let's be careful. We need to be ready for anything. And we still don't know what this Alluvian's gonna do. One of us should probably stay behind in case it closes. Good point. Just tell us when you're ready to go, Rook, and then we can figure out what's going on.
Again, who are you? A caretaker. I go where I am needed, dweller. Now, I am here. And where is here? The crossroads. Can you help us? I get the feeling this is no place to get lost. The Evanurus hunger for the crossroads. Their influence is spreading. Light. Death. Madness. They send their minions to claim this place. The crossroads is in a time of need, Dweller. I cannot protect you. You don't have to. If you're standing against the gods, then consider us reinforcements. Here, this dock seems sturdy. So you can ferry us to the other islands? Winds await, Dweller. I'll take that as a yes. Onward, Dweller. of the crossroads to protect them. Beware. The Guardians repel all interlopers. So we're interlopers too? That's where they're breaking through. God's in their fate tearing. Let's cut them off.
these roots may be unbound, Dweller. Seek out what holds it closed. The gods' blight and blood magic has sealed the way. Only their champion may open it. A champion? It dwells on this island. Challenge the champion and claim its essence. This path will open to you. Guardians can't hold them off for long. Oh, is there something inside it? That's the champion we're looking for. Watch yourselves. essence we need. It's cold. Hope I don't have to carry it for too long. An altar to a wolf. And I know who that's for.
so will you. a lot of Alluvians. And they're all intact. I wonder where they lead. Time to find out. That Fade Tear is spewing Blight. This is how the gods are sending the Blight through the Veil. Probably weakening it, too. Treviso, one of the finest cities in Antiva, now living under occupation. Let's hope our crow contact can meet us. Welcome to Antiva. You must be Rook. And you're under Atea Cantori of the Crows? Thea, please. Come. My associate Viago is gathering the others. We can talk business when we arrive. The documents, it's, uh, it's all there. <sighs> Sloppy. Have your papers in order next time. Of course, yes. I'll, um, I'll be more mindful. Good. What of us The Antom soldiers have made themselves at home here. We have suffered their company for too long. The Antom reached a stalemate in their war with Tevinter. Some turned here instead. Antiva was rich, comfortable, 
and has no standing army to stop them. Have you tried kale? It's a popular leaf. Welcome. You went to the position. She said it well enough. It must be hard, dealing with the Antom. This occupation will not last. The Antivan crows remain. And one day, I will see a knife through every would-be tyrant's throat. We have arrived. A casino? Welcome to the Cantori Diamond. You're the client. This is Rook. Did you want a drink? I promise not to let Viago near it. <sighs> Viago de Riva, fifth talon. And this is Catarina de la Morte, first talon of the Crows. An honor. And you are? Ilario de la Morte, her grandson. What brings you here? Right. My target is a pair of elven gods, or that's what they call themselves. They're ancient blighted mages. My detective says you have a man who brought blood mages and venatori to their knees. Lucanis. My grandson. They called him the demon of Virantium. He was the one who did those jobs. Exactly who we're after. Except Lucanis de la Morte is dead. He was killed a year ago. What I say doesn't leave this room. The body our people brought back was not my grandson. It was dressed in his clothing, but it had been altered with blood magic to half his face. My cousin is still alive? And you didn't think to tell me? His ship was attacked. We knew someone sold him out. So you kept your suspicions to yourself. But you've brought it up now. Why? I've had eyes on the Venatori ever since they took my grandson from me. They were hunting your dread wolf. And what you did to his ritual threw them into disarray. They made mistakes, and now I have a location. The Oshuri, where the demon of Virantium is kept. Find this Oshuri. Free, Lucanis. You'll have your god-killer. And I'll have my grandson. Come, Katarina arranged a boat. One of our mages will meet us there. A boat? Did you think the Venatori would keep a normal prison? Or that one could hold the demon of Pyrantium? The Oshuary lies beneath the sea. A fact I learned mere minutes ago. Under the... Oh, this is gonna be just great. You're not happy Katarina kept this from you. Would you be? Lucanis is family. Maybe she thought I'd act too rash if it meant saving him. And now, who can say if he's even still alive? There, you take the boat. 
Almek Are you coming with us? It's possible we've been watched. If all of us vanish from the dock, you play the alluring hero. I know Treviso. If we have a tail, I have a better chance of distracting their interest. So how do we get in? You'll see. Someone or something already took down the guards. I can't decide if that's good or bad, but we have a demon to find. Any ideas? Look! So this is the ossuary. This doesn't look like any prison I've seen. that way oh so the place is underwater and falling apart that seems real safe I can't believe all this is underwater if the enchantments containing this place ever failed are we sure we want to do this Rook the Antivan crows aren't really known for being loyal or helpful they're mostly known for killing killing is what we need though Whatever's behind that door, it's important. Which means that's the right direction. Then we break through.
All right, we're almost through. We don't have to fight. We're just here for Lucana Stella Morte. Get ready. Dragon Hail! Dragon of Mystery! Lucicon, Dragon of Night! Hear your faithful call! I'm guessing you're the reason we're here. Who are you? Who sent you? My name's Rook. Katerina sent me. Katerina? But you're not a crow. And you're possessed by a demon. It's complicated. Katerina promised us mage killer if we broke you out of here. I can still work. Good, because I'm pretty sure Mervenatori are on their way. We have to get moving. They have a vial of my blood. They can use it to control me. I cannot leave it in their hands. And I had a contract when I was captured. One of my targets is here, Calivan. Crows don't break contracts. All right, we'll help. But in return, I want help killing some things. I'll owe you. I'm sure we'll owe each other before this is all over. Let's go. So, first order of business? Blood first, then my target, Caliban, the prison warden. Where do we find them? In the tower. There's a bridge. Not anymore. We'll have to find another way across. Mages, my specialty. This is a big place. Where would they keep vials of blood? Caliban keeps it under guard. Blood is the only thing that can bind a demon. If they lose it... Then it's chaos.
Were they torturing demons? How? Why? They didn't all start out as demons. Zara made sure they ended up that way. Zara? Zara Renata. There might be a higher ranking Venatori somewhere, but I don't know of one. This place is all her. Corpses possessed by demons. Watch out. Zara Renata's work. This place exists for her to make new, worse kinds of demons. Venatoria head. Mine. We made a deal with the crows to bring him back. And don't forget it's gods we're up against. Right. Well, abominations never end well. Just remem remember... I warned you.
So the vial of blood the Venatori took from you... It's for blood magic, to control me and the demon. Until it's gone, I cannot touch Caliban. He says he can get us across. Who is he? The demon. He says there's something he here. Something he can grab hold of in the fade. It's close. Oh. The demon pulled all of that from the fade? I'm as surprised as you. <clears throat> these undead for nothing those are the failures if those those are failures what does success look like she took the best results out a few days ago but some of the demons she created are still here
Colavan. You said he's the one in charge? No. He's a lackey. He runs this place for a powerful magister. He was my target a year ago. Now we both want him dead. We meaning... Demons don't forgive.
why this place exists. This is what success looks like. Let me hit him first, then you can take him down.
not have much time. This way, there's a shortcut. Lead the way. supposed to find this thing I know it's here we can smell it left of these people. They were tortured. What a terrible way to die. Very few people survive Colivan's rehabilitation. Wait, we cannot go after Colivan yet. Not while he has my blood. the crystals that power it. Consider it down. There, just two left now.
one crystal between us and the... That's it. The barrier should be down. Let's see what's on the other side. When you said a vial of blood, I thought it would be small. There. That's the one. It has to be. Us against gods, Harding. I am right here, you know. It's fine. We can talk about something else. What's Katarina like? After so long in this pit, I barely remember. Oh, this was entirely unnecessary. Zara and her little jests. He's already the demon of Irantium. Won't this be ironic? Hilarious. And now look at the mess you've made of my facility. She always leaves me to clean up. So this is Colivan. He is. The target I was sent for a year ago. A crow never abandons a contract. What did they offer you?
So we got your target. Yes. The job's done. Smells like blood. Ashes. Not done. Not yet. Lucanus? Are you alright? Lucanus, what are you looking at? Careful. They know we're not right. You cannot see him. I wondered. We clearly have things to discuss. Somewhere else. Agreed. I think it's time I got some air.
Shall we go? I'm ready to get out of this place. Imagine how I feel. Make it. Look, Anis. What happened here? A message from Zara Renata. I can't believe it. You're home. Zara? Her people got these clothes? The woman who runs the prison. The Benatori witch who captured me. Revenge for the breakout, maybe? Where's Katarina? She's... The Venatori caught her in the confusion. I get one of you back, only to lose the other. Lucanus, I am so sorry. I need to work. Are you sure? You should take some time. I don't need time. I need a target. You just got here, and already you want to leave again? Katerina gave me a contract. I'm not breaking the last deal she ever made. And I owe Rook. Once that's done, I'll come home. I'll return him in one piece. Thank you. Cousin, when you find Sara, I want, I need to be there. We are under attack. Antam on one side and Avenatori on the other. Forget revenge. We need you. No, Viago. Sara came for us here, in my house. She took Katerina from my house. You find her and cut her heart out, Lucanis. V and I will hold down the fort. I'll give her your regards, Dea. For Katerina. The crows had lost a talon. But the demon of Irantium was free at last. Sooner or later, Debts new and old would come due. And they would all be paid in blood. They're the same thing. Mostly, kind of. Except one will manipulate you, or kill you, or both. But how do you get rid of them? Um, what's everyone talking about? Spite. The demon in Lucanus. When a person gets possessed, the demon usually takes control. And they turn into a monster. The spirit just molds them however they want. I've heard of abominations being cured by killing the demon in the Fade. That's not a sure bet, though. Well, there's one way, but it's, well... We'd have to, um... You'd have to kill me. 
That can't be the only solution. Can't we reason with Spite, maybe? Persuade it to leave? Talk doesn't work on Spite. She won't hurt you. How sweet. Uh, I want to talk to her! Before we do... Well... That... Let's think this through some more. There has to be a solution. I have people in Marathas I can ask, but... I wouldn't get my hopes up. All right. So what next? Let me talk to them! I want to talk to them! Lucanus! Nope. It's fine. I'm fine. What did he do that for? Throwing a tantrum when he doesn't get his way. But he could just take you over. Make you do what he wants. It's, you know, not great, but kind of good news, in a way. He's done this before? Enough that you just shrug it off? He do this in the ossuary. The Fae does whatever his spirit wants. Real walls and chains, not so much. Just give me a minute. He'll get bored once everyone leaves. I don't like leaving you alone with the demon. I w You don't have to worry about me. Lucanus. Please. Antiva is in rough shape under the Antom's occupation. I should see how the crows are doing. <clears throat> you asked for time. Is this long enough? Yes, my head's clearer. Though I would kill for a decent cup of coffee. Have you? For coffee, I mean. Not today. You've got questions. You might as well ask them. You're the best mage killer in the Antivan Crows. So how'd the Venatori catch you? Someone set me up. I had a contract for Colivan, in the ossuary. I took a ship from Treviso to Minrathos. They were waiting for me. Knew which ship and when it would arrive. I don't know how they convinced the crows I was dead, but I woke up in the ossuary with Zara gloating about it. I know Katarina volunteered you to work with us. Are you okay with that? When the first talent of the crows gives you a job, you do it, especially if she's your grandmother. But there's plenty of reason for me to work with you beyond that, Rook. Such as? I owe you a debt, for one. And after a year in that hole, maybe I'm looking forward to stabbing a god or two in the back. The crossroads could be dicey, but the lighthouse is safe. Oh, and if you see a spirit around called the caretaker, they're friendly. After the ossuary, that will be a pleasant change. You haven't asked about Spite. From what I've seen, I'd say he picked the right name. He's stronger when I sleep, so I try not to do it much. No one was in the ossuary by choice, not even the demons. We both did what we had to, to get out of there. So if you're an abomination... I suppose I should get used to that. But I heard that only mages can get possessed by demons. I'm skilled with a blade, but I promise you, without spite, I have the magical talent of a brick. 
There must be some difference between a demon deceiving their way into a body and being forced into one. Only Zara knows for sure. I admire you. What you've been through would break most people. I would not give Zara the satisfaction. Still, he must be a very courageous man. A very stubborn one, perhaps, but that's kind of you to say. Leave Spite to me. If he's trapped in this world, he has good reason to fight for it. For now, I must honor our contract. Gods, magic, politics. Hmm, things are going to get very bloody. I'm heading out to practice my new magic. I could use some moral support. I really have to get better at using my new abilities. Don't want to drop a rock on someone's head. breaking things. Take a deep breath. Let's talk this through. I wish I could, but I can't. Not right now. My thoughts just keep bouncing around, won't line up. The Alluvian was easy. Once I replaced the resonance crystals, adjusted the lyrium lens, it worked fine. I mean, I had to realign the matrices, but it just worked. Not like this thing. Lara, I don't understand half the words you just used. You'll figure this out. Whatever this is. It's the Nodis Durthalin, the Eighth Archive. We... I heard it was gone forever, but here it is. So what does it do? It knows things, whatever its creator knew, at least. So much knowledge, all the wonders of Elvenon. Or at least bits of them, which is more than we have. Once I figure it out, at least, whoever made it was powerful, but clumsy. It's resonating off tempo. Need to match it. First, introduce a microfracture. But before that, you'll need the fate harmonics, so... Sorry, I, I ramble sometimes. I'm a rambler. Ruined a lot of relationships. Most of the people I've been with didn't care for it. And I'm doing it. Again. I've been known to ramble now and then. Sometimes I get ahead of my thoughts, and when I try to sort them out, they're all jumbled. Right, a and they're slippery and, and fast, and you can only catch some of them. Oh, I wish I could catch the thought that would let me fix this thing. I'll get back to it. Soon. But I think I need a break. Maybe take a nap, and I, I can finish later. Hey, if napping works, then nap away. Okay, I will. 
Anyways, let me know if you need me. I'll be ready. They'd found someone who could fix their mirror. One of Arlathan's own veil jumpers. Just what they were looking for. And Bellara had found something else. An artifact that held a wealth of lost knowledge. But a prize like that was going to attract more attention than they'd bargained for. Stop fussing over me. Go see what the others are up to.
The dock's been fixed. The caretaker must be regaining control of the crossroad. To other shores. That scent. I can't place it. Coffee. Like Ilario and I smelled in the kitchen where we grew up, but that cannot be right. Could be magic from the ancient elves. The Ontom, here? Guardians, and now the Anton. Stay alert. this it looks like an entryway wait what happened this doesn't feel like the fate more like a dream or glad you made it here safely i didn't love our odds without you who me all right everything's in place we hit algonan's island fortress tonight this is our best chance to free the people he's enslaved. Get in, save as many as you can, and bring them back here to Sanctuary. Be fast and be safe. I'll meet you on the other side. Fen Haral scouting ahead. For freedom! For the Dread Wolf! The Dreadwolf is testing his noble rebels against my stronghold. How courageous. Those memories can hurt you. Take them down. Oh, my God. 
Solis's memories. Elgernon sent his guards to attack the Dreadwolf's rebels. At least it's not the real Elgernon. Especially here. See, we all made it. Elgonan's forces are making things interesting. You keep moving no matter what. Free those slaves. We'll take everyone else and give the guards something to think about. We must be swift. Elgonan is coming. Solus sounded frightened. Fear makes powerful memories. that prison open. Quickly, get us out of here! <sighs> Locked tight, and no sign of a key. Maybe something in here can open it. an alluvian nearby. We'll head there right away. Go. The Dreadwolf must be waiting for you. Quickly! Elkanan approaches. Stop his guards. We need to buy time for the captives to get to safety. I will hold off Elgonon himself for as long as I am able.
The vermin keep coming. Go. I will deal with that ragged wolf. One last push. Let the big asshole rant. Everyone we freed is safe in the crossroads. Without all of you, well, thank you. But can Elganon find us here? He cannot. I have made sure of... <laughs> Solus? Elganon is a powerful opponent. My apologies. It is of no consequence. What matters, my friends, is that today, all of us are free. I think that's it. The memory ends here. Solus always cared about fighting injustice. He used to be a hero. He still thinks he is. But it did not last. His memories seemed to condense into that statuette. There must be more to this. Demon of Virantium, huh? And they called you that before, the demon. Ah, you don't have that enchanted barbed arrow in your quiver because you think it's pretty. It is, though, isn't it? The red shimmer is the enfeebling magic, and the spike tip is designed to splinter inside the target. Very nice. I thought you'd like that. I really hope I don't have to use it, though. Cost me a lot of gold. That's why you only have the one. Well, 
I only need one, especially from this close. Ready when you are. Get ready. Those figures are everywhere. The spirits, worshippers?
Look, the statue that controls those bridges is broken. Doesn't matter. We can figure this out. If what happened at Demeter's crossing spreads, not much we can do to stop. The whole village, covered in blight, I heard. What could do such a thing? I hear plenty of ways to spend your coin here. Send your friends my way. Tell them Amelia will set them up right. When did the troubles begin? The animal seized it right away. Before... 
that bad guys <laughs> This should be perfect. It's wide open, lots of rocks, and away from people. I don't want to try anything where I could hit someone. Oh, this sounds exciting. I know. Come on. Being able to move the terrain's going to be really useful for a scout. Getting up high for good vantage. Let's try it out for practice. All right. See this rock? I'm gonna move it. Oh, awkward. Uh, maybe if you used words? What? Tell the rock what to do? Sort of. <laughs> it's not a dog. Yeah, but just try it. Fly! <laughs> oh, you are the worst. The worst! So, a mental cue. Some kind of emotional trigger. You're thinking too hard about it. Maybe think less and feel more. Have fun. Go with what feels good. Feels good. Right. Connection. Joy. Fun. You know, we would sometimes go to the shore of Lake Callanhad in summer. And my friends and I would collect stones and see who could build the best rock fort. I bet my fort would be the best now. Oh. <laughs> it worked! It worked! That was a great idea, Rook! I provided encouragement. Everything else was you. But the encouragement was the thing. Well, I did it once. What's important is whether I can do it again. Either way, I think I'll need more practice with this. Don't you? I wonder what's up there. Think you could find us a route? Maybe. I'll take a look. I bet you could move this to give us something to climb on. Right. <laughs> well done. Let's find another rock for you to practice. Bliss in oneness. Our voice a chorus. What? Well, I don't know. I was just saying something, wasn't I? Huh. Just came to me.
Think you could clear a path for us? You got it. Look at that. You're getting good. Want to try another one? Why not? Got it. There you go. Practice is really helping, huh? I might even be ready for a bigger challenge now. So many rocks. And they feel different. That one's granite. That one's slate. I think that one might be quartz. I wonder if the rock's composition affects my magic. Sorry. Just thinking out loud. Let's get back to it. Practicing, I mean. Let's find a couple more. It's no trouble for you now. I know. This is great. I'm on it. Good work. You got the hang of this stone thing. I'm definitely getting there. What was that? Someone's in trouble. Over here, Harding. We need to move quick. Please, someone. Is anyone out there? Someone's in trouble. We need to go. Can move. Hold on. <laughs> Up over there. I bet that's where he is. This rock. There he is. Let's hurry. Easy. Maker. I thought I was dead for sure. How are you feeling? How's the leg? Broken, I think. But I'm alive. And I'm grateful for that. The rocks. How did you do that? I... Harding? Do you hear that? Hear what? Sister, I feel you, touched by the ancients as I was. Find me, look to those closest to the stone, and find me. Harding? What's wrong? What are you hearing? I'm... I'm sorry. Let's just get our friend to safety, and then we'll talk.
I've seen spirits overwhelmed by bad emotion. Eventually, they turn. Could this spirit sense the agony of the Dalish who recently died in the forest? Help him! Help me! Everything is in there! Our lives! Our memories! Giant owl. There must be something to this. Of course. Any idea is what that does? I've come across ancient elven artifacts before, but they're usually broken. Some of this looks brand new. Maybe it's connected to all the floating ruins. Bail jumpers have seen things like this pop out of thin air all across Arlathan. Oh, my God. 
Another statue. There's an elf out there somewhere who really likes owls. Oh, what the heck? Whole forest is weird. Here goes nothing. Ooh, ooh. Watch out! Seen better days. Through the Dalish caravan. I hope everyone's all right. My people are tough. I'm sure they're fine. completely burned. That must have been a big fire. And this scorched relic, is this what started the blaze? That spirit could have sensed what happened here.
Bubble scouted. Statues don't look right. They aren't statues. Those were people. What happened to them? It's like they were frozen mid-stride. Another one of those owl statues. Look here. A Hala statuette. They died holding this. And all these Hala corpses. Didn't that spirit say something about Hala? These people must have been trying to find their lost Hala. Then nightfall, and... Might be able to restore that bridge. A useful shortcut if we ever need it. Oh. 
Arlefin turned them into trees? Another owl. We got it.
What do we have here? They came in for shelter and couldn't get out. The spirit probably felt their fear too. A broken alluvian over there. No fixing that. He couldn't stop it from corrupting everything around it, including himself. So many dead. So many things left behind. I wonder if we could somehow memorialize them. Let's head back to that spirit. Maybe we can ease its distress somehow. I wonder what this is about. These must be the old aqueducts. It's amazing what the ancients could build. Another owl.
destination. See if we can figure this out. That did it.
Look at this. I bet it came in handy. You have to hand it to the ancient elves. They loved their statues. Such craftsmanship. Handmade from stone. I'm glad someone's amused. <laughs> You got it. told me you were fearless. Threatening the demon of Viranian to his face certainly proves it. You know, it's actually the opposite. I'm afraid of what you are. And brutally honest. She didn't mention that part. I've seen demons. I know how they can corrupt. I know it won't even be your fault if it happens. But I won't let someone else turn on my friends. No matter how scared I am. Good. Keep your bow close. What do we have here? Did it.
Oh, what a horrible way to go. Never seen anything like it. I'm used to plants that you eat, not the other way around. When I joined the Veil Jumpers, the plants were still friendly enough. I guess that's changing. found those people. You don't have to feel this way anymore. Oh, so much fear before the darkness. Make it quiet. Make it go away. I don't understand. It would be appeased with a simple gesture that makes it believe the dead are at rest. Spirits of comfort. Very empathetic, but not the brightest, according to Spite. Another owl. Here goes. Dareth Shiral, Lethalin. You were fighters, scholars, explorers, friends, family, and lovers. We will remember you as you lived, and not as you died. Go in peace. Rest well. A moment's pain does not undo a lifetime of hope. Thank you. In Rathus, the heart of Tevintir, somehow the beast of it always pulls me back. 
Steady pulse of secrets, corruption, you name it. Trust no one. Expect the worst. And you might just get by. Do the Shadow Dragons know we're here? Nev Gallus! You only turn up when you want news. Or you've got some. Tarquin. You look well. Appearances can be deceiving. Sounds like a story. Just living ungifted in a world made for mages. Rook, meet the Viper. It's good to meet you. Both of you. And you. So why the meeting? Is this about your work with Varric? Something terrible got loose when we disrupted Solus's ritual. A pair of elven gods. Gods? They blighted a village in Arlathan. Demeter's Crossing. There were venatory whispers about that place. Now we know why. What's been happening in the city? Underground sacrifices. Dangerous relics flooding the black market. The cults gathering power. So are the gods. It can't be a coincidence. The Venatori want one thing. If an ancient power promised them control of Tevinter... They'd sign the deal in blood. We were tracking a set of red Lyrian relics before you got here. Smuggled in recently. They enhance blood magic and can summon demons far too easily. We destroyed one and tore another off a slaver. We think the third's right here in Doctown. Doctown's my home. If it's got problems and I'm here, I can track this faster than anyone in the city. Hold on. I'm happy to help. It's fine. I can catch up with you. We don't know where the gods are or what they're doing. We're here for help. It's fair I give some in return. The relics don't play nice with the veil, and they resonate with each other. We destroyed the lyrium in the last one we found, but it should still track the third. Give it to me. I'll get it done. We'll keep eyes on the Venatori. If there's a tie to these elven gods, we'll find it. Ready for a tour of Docktown? Stick with me. The relic the Viper gave us responds to the missing one. And it is. It should pick up places where the missing relic disrupted the veil. Find a trail of those and we'll get somewhere. Hey, they call me Tick. Other said I got stuck to her like one of them and drained her of life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess it's not funny. So you live in Docktown? My whole life. Unless I'm away on a case. Or crashing in the Fade. This place is calmer when the palace isn't trying to kill us. Oh, sure. We're just chasing a dangerous relic through the streets. Huh. Right. Sorry, I... Oh, no. I was half agreeing with you. Aha! The relic's pulling toward the Temple of Andraste. Demons. What happened? It's locked down, sir. Keep it under control. Locked. We need another way in. Right. On it. Wait. Are we breaking into a chantry? The courtyard's public ground, and we can't lose the trail. Is this what you do for the shadow? No dragons? When you aren't with us? I look for things. People, objects, information. People have problems that Templars and Magisters can't help. Or won't. Word got out I might. It's enough to live on. If it doesn't get me killed.
bodies in the courtyard. Stay sharp. Killed. Based on the marks, I'd say demons. These poor people. Relics work? It's not a coincidence. Chasing, it's unstable. Leaving chaos behind it. This isn't the only market left on the Vale. I can feel it. Find that, and we may get more. Is this what we're after? Let me take a look. I've got this. Relic. Courtyard. Back way. What was that? It's a remnant, an echo from the Fade drawn to magical disruptions. If the relic drew it here, the voice could be a memory of the smuggler. Courtyard's quiet, fewer eyes, so you cut through here, where there's a path to the market. Follow me. Couldn't escape the demons. If there's family or a friend, I can track them down later. Make sure they know. Enchantment on the entrance. I can get it. You got it. All right, follow me. You know, I took this job. It's on me, and the Venatory cult's no joke. If anyone wants out... We're here to help. Besides, you promised us a tour. It's fair warning. The threads took care of it. You think he's acting 
different. The relic was close. Find another remnant and we might learn more. Up there. Is that another remnant? How are we gonna get up there? There's always a way to get places. So many people in Minrathis. Don't you get lost in the crowd? Sometimes that's just what you want. Assortment of trinkets, jewels, Paintings, other adornments. Tapestries, floor coverings, beautify any space. You'll be back. Ah, Interest you in a tapestry? Find beauty in everything, friend. Anyone strange poking around the market? You mean more than usual? Actually, maybe. The smuggler who supplies Miro? She's acting weird. Took off, though. Couldn't tell you where. Got it. There's so much on display. If it's not brought in, won't someone take it? If a stand's not watched, there's a nasty spell on the most valuable item. And a random one, just for fun. Right. I guess that makes sense. Hey there. Hi. My shot's pretty new, but I've got armor, clothing. Come, take a look. Thanks for stopping. Coin spare? Maseranis. Demons in the streets tonight. Can you get somewhere? Almost there. Remnants ahead. You bet. ships go in and out. Could be using them for timing, near the docks. I think our smuggler's on a deadline. The relics pull agrees. Let's visit the docks. is locked. Someone forgot to bribe the dockmaster. Still up for a walk? This isn't the only way to the docks. Food later? Oh, yes, please. I think so. All right, through here. Here goes nothing.
I'm guessing you know all the shortcuts in Docktown. All its secrets? <laughs> no. If someone thinks they know all Docktown secrets, they're either kidding themselves or scamming you. They were back asking questions. Wanted to know what relics I'd seen on the black market. You think it's for blood magic? I've heard some rumors. I don't know. Not <laughs> anymore. Come on. This path will swing back to the docks. that relic's in Docktown. These are my neighbors. That relic won't stay in my town. <sighs> the Inquisition had to deal with the Venatori. Ah, yes. The cult speaks fondly of you. That's... Um, really? You were born in their side. I'd say that's flattery. Venatori? You're serious? Cult's getting bald again. What can I get for you? Some grog? Some grog? Home sweet home. Enjoying the tour? We're getting closer.
I'm on it. Soon, the buyer. Meeting. Right, a meeting, but where? The trail's starting to fray. Wrong turn. Nice, really. Shouldn't it belong to the Venatori? Not a chance. Looks like we have company. Is everyone all right? I... Nev, you're back in the city. Templarana Savas. Don't say you missed me. <clears throat> I wasn't going to. Really? Because I heard there's a relic loose with Red Lyrium? How do you... Never mind. You can't say... You never can. Rook, meet my friend Rana. At least I think we're friends. <sighs> yes. And Rook, if you're with Nev, I take it I can trust you? I'd like to think so. All right. If you have anything on the relic. I thought Templars worked against mages. This isn't the South. I work to stop illegal magic, that's all. You're working the case alone? Not if you help. There's a rumor the relic trades hands tonight, and Albin Bataris is the buyer. The Magister's son. Interesting. I should get moving. Nev. Don't worry. We won't stop until this whole thing's settled. That's, uh... Look, you're busy. We just got attacked, which means you won't leave until you're sure no one else is lurking around. And you won't wait. What can I say? Work to do. Where are you going? For a walk to the spillway. I'll catch up when I'm done. If you say so. Our trail is frayed, but the spillway's our best bet. Let's go. Rana's not a shadow dragon, so you work with Templars too? Rana's clean and her information's good. The rest? Only when I have to. And the spillway? Rana mentioned Alvin Bataris, and she doesn't share rumors unless they're likely. Alvin's father oversaw some construction there. If he's visiting this part of town, that narrows the search. A barrier. They don't want people getting near the deal. Find the unshielded crystals and we're through. That's one down. Must be one left. That's it. We can cut through the barrier now. We need to keep moving. Voices. There's someone up ahead. You're supposed to wait. Just a taste of that power.
He's using it now? Move! We need to get closer. We can't let him bolt. We have a relic fire. The Venatori don't need that relic. You're here to stop me. You can't stop the Venatori. This power! won't be releasing any more demons. And you're the smuggler. I know you. You're part of the Thread Crime Syndicate. Smuggling, sure. But Red Lyrium. Working with Venatori. It's not your style. Here they are. My son is no cultist. He was completely misled. I appreciate your help, Knight Commander. Let's go. Nice try. The Venatori rise. You know he's guilty. How much did it cost the Magister? Watch it, Gallus, or you'll be charged. With what? I tie something up and you undo it? Isn't this familiar? Save the sob story. We got the smuggler. Or do you want Bataris to release her, too? I'll find a way to fix this. <sighs> Damn it. At least we stopped the demons. That's something. If Docktown's a little safer... It's not for nothing. I know, it's not perfect. We got the relic, and the smuggler. The shadows will watch the cult. If that leads to the gods, they'll send word. It's not perfect, but count your wins. You don't always get them, especially here.
It wasn't a perfect ending, but Docktown was safe. From tonight's demons, anyway. Nev's past was coming back to haunt her. She just didn't know it yet. I should see what Nev has to say. <laughs> 